Scriptural. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Romans 15, 13. How do you need God to fill you there? I need to... I need him to fill me with joy that doesn't depend on my circumstances. I need him to fill me with hope for the future. I need to fill him I need I need him to fill me with courage and strength. I need him to fill me with joy that doesn't depend on my circumstances. Overflow, devotional, overflow, to bless a toasty word. Jesus invites all who are toasty to come to him and drink. In him we have rivers of living water win. The woman at the well found a well on the inside, springing up into everlasting life. In Acts, we see people like Stephen and Paul and Peter and John over and over again. They did signs and signs and wonders. The Holy Spirit overflowing within them touched the world for God's glory. Our life in Jesus is supposed to be filled with glory, dynamic, joyous, moving, ever, ever vincent. I have a vessel that's unique. It is my ORU coffee mug. I like to have hot chocolate in my ORU mug. This is Boston doing this uh, article. I make it some. I make it some mornings and bring it to work on Tuesday, on Monday or Tuesday. I make hot chocolate and set the mug on the counter. About about Friday, something really smelled bad. I couldn't figure it out. I opened the refrigerator. Nothing in there. I went to where the gym clothes had been for three days and it didn't smell so bad. Finally, I got over the counter and thought, hey, I've got to wash that mug out. The milk had, had so, 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 soured. This vessel had a stagnant substance in it and it was stinking up the whole house. The Christian life was never meant to be stagnant. When the Holy Spirit fuels you, he becomes like a river within you. If you're stagnant, if you if your river... If you're not a river, you are going to sink. Get rid of the stagnant stuff in your life. Make room for him and the Holy Spirit will fill you up. Get back to the fountain. Get back to the source. Get back to his glory and overflow. What's in your vessel? What is going on inside of you when people bump, when people bump you? When the pressures of life toss you what spills out is it bitterness anger accusation and a sense of entitlement or do you spill out love joy hope and grace god can fill us with his overflowing presence pray with me here i am father i want to be a vessel of honor fill me afresh with the holy spirit fill me to to overflow and to bless the toasty word this toasty word make me shape me mold me fill me in jesus name amen Prayer. Father God, please fill me completely with joy and peace because I trust in you. And if I start to feel overwhelmed, hopeless, confused or fearful, remind me that you are near. Please make me aware of your presence. Fill me up, God, so that way I might overflow with confident hope regardless of what comes my way. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the God of hope fill you with all your joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13.